Hello, Internet friends. It's day number 11 in our series, 20 Days of Chief Architect X15. I'm Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, and today's feature is procedural grass, as we see here on the screen. Kind of a new concept. Let's get started in our favorite software. So there's a new tool we have now in X15 called Procedural Grass. Before, as you can see here, um, it, it looks very different from like terrain, like a texture. Uh, but I want to, before we get into it, I want to show you how we lay it down in the model. I'm going to delete this one. And it works a lot like a terrain feature or um, a uh, model. Uh, garden bed type of thing. Go into terrain. After you've built the terrain, of course, we have to have a terrain region there. Um, a terrain perimeter, I should say. After you've built that, go into grass region and polyline grass region. And we're going to drop this just like a polyline. I'm going to click and drag and go to my camera. And there's my procedural grass region. Amazingly, this doesn't really affect the renderings very, very much. Um, when I select this and open this, I can change my dent, my blade data, if you will. I'm going to change this uh, density down to say six and just kind of see what that does. Now you can kind of see some of the uh, dirt underneath. I'm going to zoom out and let's go to materials. Now what you see in between the blades of grass is in this materials grass region. And right now by default, it's mulch pine. So let's, um, let's make that density just to be one. And so you can see that mulch pine in between the blades of grass. Let's go back to six. And I'm going to set minimum height at one. And you can set the maximum height quite a bit, 24. And you'll notice you can actually kind of see between the blades of grass. And you can see the texture behind that. Really cool there. And because it's 24, even though the density is at six, uh, where where the maximum height was four, um, and you could see the see the uh, mulch in between. Now that this maximum height's at 24, you can't can't even see the mulch except for the edges here. All right, you can play with minimum width, maximum width, curve uh, of the of the uh, blades. So let's go uh, 10 and just see them really sticking straight up, if you will. Um, you can change the color of the blades of grass. So if it were more like, a, I have no idea, grass um, species or, or whatever. So there's a brighter green grass and undo that. Uh, and then we have the option to mow it. So let's uh, see what this grass is mowed at a four inch cut. And now you get everything right at four inches. And um, you get to see that. So that's kind of a fun, um, fun new thing. Now, since, since we did that, video where you can extend the um, terrain to the horizon. I haven't played with this yet. I'm going to extend my grass beyond that terrain, beyond the terrain model, even though it's the terrain is extended to the horizon. Let's see how far this goes. And you really can't, I really don't know how far it goes. So let's do this. Let's put a, I'm going to put a uh, polyline solid right at the edge of my terrain. And let's make that uh, 24 inches tall. And from, oh, that's a new thing too. We can now make solids 
uh, reference from terrain instead of just from the absolute or from finished floor or floor or ceiling. And go back here. All right, so even though my terrain, yeah, if I right click here, or, or if I select in this area right here, that's my terrain perimeter. And that solid's right on my terrain edge. So even though my grass, yeah, that's how I could have done it. Even though my grass extends beyond the terrain, because I have my terrain artificially going to the horizon, that grass won't go beyond the actual limits of the terrain perimeter. So you could, um, let's do this. Let's, let's play around with this, take this right up to the edge and let's do a sidewalk through the middle of that. So maybe that's a way you could kind of delineate the um, property line if your terrain perimeter was at the property line and you had your terrain extending to the horizon um, and you could put the uh, procedural grass on that terrain perimeter and that's your property now here um, that you see visually is this procedural grass um, and not just going with the terrain perimeter in the, uh, in the rendering. So there you have it, procedural grass. Kind of a fun new tool. I think I'll be using that one quite a bit. Um, let me know what you think of this one. If you like and learned something new, click like and subscribe right down there and hit the notification bell to receive notifications each time I drop these videos. Otherwise, take care. Thanks so much for watching.